Welcome once again to Special Data Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could make a web map using QGIS to web plugin. So you'll make an interactive map rather than just a static image. The data on my screen, as you can see, is a clear plate map, clear plate map. And you can check the description of this video to download it and also for links to on how to do it. I've made a video on that on my channel, so do well to check it out if necessary. So start, we'll download the plugin. So go to your plugins. Let's repeat that. Plugins, manage and install plugins. Make sure you have internet connection set up for this to work. Click on all and search on QGIS, QGIS 2 as a figure 2 and web. When you see a plugin, click on install. Mine is already installed, that's why it's showing reinstall here. So when you have that installed, you can go to web and you see QGIS to web. Then you see create web map. Click on create a web map. So on this page, you have all your layers and group of layers that are on your QGIS map window. So anyone you want to appear on your final map, you can check the box beside it or uncheck it as the case may be. You can add your base map, OpenStreetMap, Google Maps, whatever it is you are using. If you want some context on where the location of your um, web map is just in case people are not aware of it that's why i added mine or you can take it off if you don't want it at any time when you make any setting you can update preview i won't do it so often to reduce the processing time of this video here i selected leaflets open layers is an open source web mapping say, application web mapping platform same as leaflet map box is paid but there are some freemium offers which you could get so let's check on the appearance okay first on layers and groups we find that you might find a number of irrelevant layers on irrelevant um columns and part of your data here to reduce them to put only the ones you want for me now i need just the name of the states for the record this is a map of states and population sum so i need the name of the states the population sum and probably the id on the state number so to reduce that go back to your qgis window right click click on properties let's extend this okay yes okay this is what i wanted to extend attributes form make sure you're on attributes form and then under fields click on the drop down if it's not select the fields which you want like you see this set the widget type to hidden if you do not want it on my page there you see on my qgis web map edit you see FID. I don't want anything about FID. So I can set it at hidden. I'm not so sure which other one is there, but I believe you get the point. Then for the name, I can set the name to text edits. Okay, I think it is hidden. Now here's one other thing I wanted to show you. For this name, this is the name of the state. You can set the text edit and you can set an alias. The alias is the display name which will show on your map. So rather than showing name underscore one, it's very generic. So you can add it, an alias or whatever it is you want. Maybe state's name or anything. You see this ID one. 
I set mine to state ID. I just want this to be better, so I'll just confirm again which other. So I have type one, I have, I have type one and FID and name one. Okay. So I'll take off type one, set it to hidden. When you're done with all of that, click on apply and okay. Then go back to your web map settings on the um, labels. Okay. Let's update preview. We need to close this for it to refresh. Web map, QGIS to web, create web map that's refreshed. So the inline label, let me show you what I mean. Updates. Inline label means that it shows this way it is now. The label and the, let me click on it. So the label and the um, value are on the same line, but if I can set this to header label and updates, you now see that state now goes above the state name. So that's just that about that. For the appearance, this abstract this is what you get from it so the map source the plugin name the web map a platform qgis openstreetmap it just gives you like reference so as address search yes this one helps you to search for a place on the map you can see let's search for lagos and it shows you lagos on the map so you can add map search if you want that feature on your map then you can add the layers list layers list expanded or collapsed mines that expanded this is layers list the um legend of the map so if you want your legends to be constantly there you can add it as expanded if you want it to just be clickable to expand as it implies so you can just play around it attribute filter i set my attributes filter to um i can set attribute filter to population states no the name you can set it to name so when you set it to name let's update that you can now see you can now search through each name so any name you want hold down control if you want more than one just hold down control and click if you just want only one name so your users can any user of the map can easily search through it while for the population some gives you something different but i found a bug with that setting geolocate user you could set it all of that settings is what appears here layer search you could search set layer search to the population the state names full screen yes widget icon you could set the um icon colors you can set the background color to ash anything you want to do here is totally your choice and when you are done with all of this this is the bug i was talking about kano is the highest the largest population so creating this population sum checker and this bar here automatically eliminates kano so be careful when using that feature when you are done with that you could go on to export your map export to a folder and then select your preferred directory here it goes to QGIS, a temporary folder you select your preferred directory let me select my desktop and 
export when you are satisfied in my next video i'm going to show you how you can publish your web map on github for free so do well to check the description of this video or my channel do well to subscribe like and i'll see you in the next video